Hey everybody, it's Brad. And I'm Krista. From the Big Family Homestead, and in this video, we're talking about canned foods. More specifically, when canned foods can kill. When canned foods go bad. <laughs> ah, yes, if you're into homesteading, then you know you have to be storing up the foods. You gotta get the foods, you gotta get them on the shelf, you gotta give them the stuff and the things. You take the food that you grow in the garden and then you process it. <laughs> you, you can it. You pressure can. <laughs> Not always. It's not always. Sometimes it's water it's bath. Water bath too. But today we're talking specifically on seven. Count them. Seven different clues, hints, well, ideas, m concepts, reasons. Clues on what might what? go bad. Right. Seven. Seven ways that you'll know. You'll know. One of the first signs that you can tell that your canned good is bad is your lid is bulging. Yep, if it's, if it's bulging out, broken. if it's like popped out, mm -hmm. don't eat it. That means that something, Run away. the gooiness has come up and it's trying to get out. Right, It's that means it's the what's inside has fermented and the gas is building up. I'm don't waiting for this it. thing to blow. Don't eat it. It's like a time bomb waiting yeah. to happen. Right, have it's to a salsa it bomb. It's a salsa bomb. Yeah. The next sign that your food might be bad is if you have a can that the lid or the uh, the ring is corroded really bad or rusted over really bad, just stay away from that. That's, that's not good eats. No. The next sign that your food has gone bad is that the food has oozed out. Yes, I said oozed out of the... <laughs> Out of the jar. Would you say it might be weepy? No. Or, or has seeped out from underneath the jar's seeped. lid. It's seeping and oozy and weepy. Don't eat it. Bad eats. <laughs> Gassiness is also a way that you can tell if, if the food in your jar is bad. If it's got, you know, little tiny bubbles oozing up and not, no, not oozing. This would be bubbling up. If you got bubbles and gassiness, you don't want to eat gassiness. Unless you're actually trying to make it No, but this ferment. is, no, no, this is this not is that. This is a totally different situation. You do not this want. This is not with fermented foods. <laughs> That's right, so indicator that, the, that it's bad, ooze, oozy. It's bubbling and inside bubbling. the jar You'd, and not after you took it so out it, of the So if it acts can. like a living thing, don't eat it. Okay, the next clue that you might have something that has spoiled in your can is that there's mold inside. A clue? Like if there's mold, you're not like gonna be like, oh, I wonder if that's good. <laughs> you're not gonna eat the mold. Don't eat the mold, people. It's not penicillin, just don't eat it. It's bad for you. Now, another sign that the food you have in your can jars that is not to be eaten, don't eat it. It's that if your food gives off an unpleasant or disagreeable odor, when you open the jar because it's stinky. It's stinky. <laughs> like if it's supposed to smell like chicken, but it smells like rotten feet, oh. don't eat it. And by the way, here's just a separate little note on the side. Um, if you are concerned about botulism and you think you can smell botulism, botulism does not have an odor. So you got to be very careful. It's, it's, that's serious. <sighs> I don't understand why botulism is funny. It's the, it's botulism. the silent killer. <laughs> it's the silent killer. Don't eat botulism. It's the odorless killer? Because you can't smell botulism? Let's get back to the list, please. So the last way that you can tell whether your canned food has gone bad is that when you open it, it spurts out of everywhere. <laughs> like a, an explosion? It's an explosion. If it explodes on you. If it explodes on you, don't eat it. Don't eat it. And you know what, guys? The honest truth is these things are common sense. And... Um, well, it's common sense. Use your brain. Don't eat stuff that's moldy. Don't eat stuff that's spurting at you or oozing. I don't want to eat oozy food. <laughs> Do you want to eat oozy food? What if it's melted cheese and it's oozing all over your nachos? That would be after you yeah. got it out of the can and it was good. Not when it's like... Wait, mm. cheese doesn't... It's not supposed to come from a can. You can can cheese. I've seen it done. I know you can can... You can can cheese. You can can cheese. <laughs> so... Common sense. Yes. Don't eat stuff that's, you know, cheese peach people. So there it is. Honestly, I know this was kind of tongue in cheek, but all that information is actually real. It is real. <laughs> so anyway, I'm Brad. And I'm Krista. And you guys have an amazing day.
Hey everybody, it's Brad. And I'm Krista. From the Big Family Homestead, and in this video we are talking about canned foods. When canned foods attack. When canned food go bad, wait. Go bad, go bad food. <laughs> let's do that again. Goodbye. Let's do that again. Please, let's not do that one. <laughs> that was awful. It was awful.